standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall on Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need, hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your hands. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Catastrophic. Let's see. Yes. That's equals I. T. 
times c and e equals the square root of c times c squared and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional that uh, something's way off here Everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late! Dad! Are we too late to stop the... sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's dark stuff. The city has no right to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. At least things can't get any worse. Hi there. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. take any of these with him. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine you can't intervene to prevent your own conception, for example?
Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, I can't, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old tarp something new to nibble on. You know, you and my folks go way back. Yeah, so? So how about letting me have that model courthouse for old time's sake? No, I think I'll keep. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Browns to... worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Hey, Biff. can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead! Time to get over it and move on! I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough! Uh, never mind. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. You got it, Mr. McFly. Dad. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? 
I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. About Biff, Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. Problem? Biff? He's got this thing, see, and I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you... No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. Yeah, he found it first, but... Oh, well then, I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. Or something. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That, that's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them off. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Make some noise. Dad, why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank.
Here's an oldie. What a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Whatever you say. Back on, Biff. You can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. <laughs> Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. I probably shouldn't fill with the time circuits again until I know when to look for Doc. In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within a lot of time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate cautions, there's always a possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is... 
to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc, know about this shoe whiny? Great Scott! I think he's on to something! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. What's this supposed to lead me to dock, Ainy? It's locked. I'm 
Einstein here brought me, and... Well... I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. E. Strickland? You are related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see.
those. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street jam all over them. Uh, Mr. Clint? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Hi, <laughs> what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But, oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh, yes, I remember. I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> the speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. with all these newspapers. This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue. From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally! I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. 
If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I, I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a student of history. Student of history? My hands, Danny! Yeah, you're a generation of hooligans and slackers to give two right things about history. Mr. Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! than I am. collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture.
Brown Mansion Destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Mr. Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. When did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Furman announced his plans for Long Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least.
October 28th, 1985, authorities still mystified by mall shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. October 28th, 1985. Authorities still mystified by mall shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. October 28th, 1985. Authorities still mystified by mall shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. That's what you get with these. Foreign made kettles. The kind of fun an American one nowadays. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally! I probably wrote it myself! I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy. Burn down. Don't let me keep you from your business. That tea's never going to boil. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. But And I'd hate to 
to have to tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. I guess I'm stuck here for a while. I guess I'm stuck here for a while. Candy looks older than I am. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Broken on the side of former speakeasy, singer vanishes, Hill Valley Expo delights crowd, soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley police station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Sorry, 
name is Strickland. Uh, let no! me... You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've 